hey and welcome to the video in this video i'm going to be setting up the settings we did we created in the previous video so with that let's get started so the method for this video comes from the youtuber matt i will leave a link to his youtube channel down in the description since we've already created the settings we did in the previous video all we're gonna do is open it so with the widget open just dock it to the top and then we're gonna add a canvas panel and then on the canvas panel we're gonna add a vertical box oh sorry no not a vertical box a horizontal box and then we're gonna set this horizontal box anchor full screen and then we're just gonna correct the offsets set them all to zero and then we're also gonna add a background blur it sets above the horizontal box and then this one also we're gonna set the anchor to the full screen and then just change all the offsets to zero as well and then with the horizontal box we're gonna make a couple changes by the offset the left offset we're gonna set it to 50 top offset 185 right offset 50 and then the bottom offset also 50. so with that done we're gonna add a couple of other boxes first we're gonna add a vertical box actually two vertical boxes so with the vertical box selected control d to create another one and then the horizontal box we're gonna rename this to graphics press f2 and then the first vertical box we're going to rename this to titles because it will hold all the titles and then the second vertical box we're going to rename this to buttons box in the titles make sure titles selected we're going to add a couple of text blocks so we're going to add one text block and then we're going to duplicate it eight times so hold for the text block selected hold Control d and then we're going to rename each one in the content by the text the first one is going to be resolution the second one is going to be view the third one is going to be fps limit the fourth one is going to be anti-aliasing fifth one reflection sixth is shading seventh is shadow eighth is texture and then the last one is going to be vsync so now with all of them selected we are gonna select all of them hold control oh no it's click either the top or the bottom one hold shift and then click the one on the opposite and then by the size we're gonna set to fill and then the vertical alignment we're gonna set to the middle and then that's gonna be everything we can customize these later and then in the buttons we're also gonna add a couple of buttons same amount so look for a button and then add the button to the buttons box and then also add a text to the button on top of the button but the button's going to come second what we need for the resolution so everything lines up properly is a combo box combo box string so we're going to add that above the button the combo box edit we're also going to add a horizontal box just so we can organize um, some stuff because some of these are going to have several buttons on them so we need them all to be aligned together and then also for the combo box we're also going to put it in a horizontal box simply because it would it will look a lot better in the combo box and then we're going to add another horizontal box and then we're going to put the button in that one and then in the combo box let's finish this one under the content default options we're going to add four options these are where we're going to add the resolutions so we're going to add just four of the most common resolutions the first one is going to be 2560 by 1440 the next one is going to be 1920 by 1080 the other the next one after that is 1536 by 864 and then the last one is 1280 by 720 and then here it says selected option i'm going to set mine to 1920 by 1080 because that is the resolution of my own screen and then i'm going to press compile save so as you can see now we have the selected option as the default and then if you run the if you run code through this then it will give you a drop down with all the other options available as well so now with that done we can move on to the other ones so the button this would be the view uh, we need another one so hold every button selected Control d and then we're going to set them to full actually we need to have the horizontal box the box 
the buttons box selected and then set that to full and then it will fill up everything else leave the titles one as auto and not full so that it just takes up as much space as it needs and then with that done we are going to change the text on the buttons the first one we're changing it to full screen and then the other one we are changing that to windowed and then next is the fps limit so all we're going to do is take the horizontal box let's actually rename these uh, we're going to take the first one we're going to call it res for res and then the second we're going to rename this to view and then we're going to take the view control d and then open it and then we're going to take the buttons and then control d twice uh the fps is five i have it as five but y'all you can have it as less so i'm gonna make five of them and then i'm gonna rename this to fps so the uh, horizontal box i renamed to fps and then i'm just gonna change the text on each one of them so the first one this one will limit it to 30 the second one will limit it to 60 the third one is gonna be 90 the next one will be 120 and then the last one is gonna be unlimited and then we're just gonna do the same thing we did with the with this button so the fps control d and then we need to remove one button because now we don't have five anymore we're only gonna have four the first one we are going to change the text content text the text is going to be low this is for the anti-aliasing we're gonna set up everything so that it aligns in a little bit and then the next one we're gonna i'm gonna set it to mid the one after that i'm gonna change this one to high and then the last one i'm gonna change this to epic in the code there is another option um i think it's ultra so we have five if you want to i'm gonna go in with four i'm gonna rename this to nta what we can do is pretty much just set all of these that we have now to fill so that any other ones that we add after this will also automatically be set to full as well we can also add padding to them and then everything will just be replicated as well as we add more so we're going to set select the nta control d the one after that is the reflection so just select the nta rename it to reflection and then we don't need to change anything because they're all pretty much going to be the same then control d the next one after that is shading control d rename it to shadow take the shadow control d after that is texture rename it texture then select texture control d and then the final one is Vsync. That we add. She noticed I actually spelled this wrong over here. So now that is how it is. Everything is aligned all together. And then to make things simpler for the next video, when we go and add the code to the buttons, we are going to add a couple of things. So select the buttons themselves. This button we're gonna rename this to full screen. The windowed button we're gonna rename it to windowed and then for the other buttons we're just gonna abbreviate some of them uh, according to where they are so the fps we're gonna just um, rename them according to how much they're supposed to limit the frame rate too so 30 60 90 120 and unlimited respectively and then for the anti-aliasing we're gonna call this one aa low the mid is gonna be aa mid the high is going to be AA high and then the epic AA epic and then this will pretty much be replicated across all of them for the reflection I'm just going to call it R low R mid R high R epic and then for the shading because these two are pretty much share the same letter I'm going to for the shading I'm going to call it S low okay so let's just say slow and then as mid as high and then as epic and then for the shadows i'm gonna call it sh sh low sh mid 
sh high and sh epic then do the same for the textures t low t mid t high or thigh and then t epic t epic i guess and then for the vsync oh i need to change the vsync we don't need that many buttons for the vsync we just need two so select two of the buttons and then just delete them and then here it's going to be vsync on and vsync off pretty much not too many apps in there and then just change the text as well one is on and then the other is off and then we're pretty much done with this and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of other buttons actually just three more buttons just add them to the canvas panel and then we can pretty much leave this one's anchor where it is this is going to be the back button just move it off to the side of it rescale it and then add a text block to it i'm gonna call this back select the text block also set it to back and then with that we are going to duplicate the back button twice and then we're just gonna move this over here we're gonna set this one's anchor to the top right as well as the other one as well we're just gonna move it to over here also set its anchor to the top right this one that's selected which is on the left not completely against the edge this is going to be the save button so this will enable us to save whatever changes we made to the um, settings and then we'll just rename the text block in there as well to save and then the one next to that is going to be the optimize button so if you select this button it will then run a benchmark based on your system and then select the appropriate quality that best suits your system just change the text block as well to optimize and then that is everything for this video we're just creating the widget in the next video i'm actually going to set up the code to enable all the functionalities and then that will be it hey so this is a post recording edit um, so i went ahead and just categorized all the buttons according to what they're going to be responsible for see i got fps aa for anti-aliasing view reflection shade shadow texture and vsync and then the back optimized save buttons are left outside in default this is just so that it will make it easier when it comes to coding because then when you coding specific ones like say for example we're coding the fps then you can just expand the fps category take all the buttons that's needed or you're done with that collapse it again and then move on to the next one so that brings to the end of this video and until the next one